G'day trendsetters, welcome to the engine room. This is where I make all my compost, black gold. But compost, how do you make it? There must be as many ways to make compost as there are bean seed varieties. There's hot compost, there's cold compost, there's bins, there's bays. But for me, I like to use the Gede compost bins, specifically. Why I use the Gede compost bins, I'm not really sure. I just like the design and I like the way they work and I think they're the, the best of the bunch. Not that I've used any of the others, I just like the way these are made, the way they're put together and they work for me, so I've kept going. Then again, with Gede compost bins, there's as many different compost bins again as there is bean varieties. Different manufacturers, different shapes, different styles, there's ones that you can roll, all sorts. Again, I like to use the Gede bin. The purpose of this video is to basically, what I'm thinking is to introduce a series or probably a fortnightly series, nearly every fortnight I come up and I work on these get a compost bins. I have seven here at the moment. I am planning on getting another one. I like to buy them second hand because I saw them priced yesterday for $85, but you can get them for $30, $40 second hand. Sometimes better if you're on a, on a, on a winning streak. So the purpose of this video is to introduce more than likely a fortnightly series of how I go about making my compost. I like this system, I've tried bays, I've tried big piles of materials to make compost, I've tried all sorts of ways. This is the way i found that works best for me. It might not work best for you, but I just thought I'd go through the steps that I go through and maybe you'll pick up some tips along the way and help you in your way of making compost. It's taken me 20 years to work out how to do this. I think probably in the first 10 years, I don't think I made a decent compost at all. Then slowly, I, I bought one bin, then two bins and three bins, and I've worked out and now I've got the system that I've got. So today, this is my last bin. This is where the finished product goes and or is stored. Just around the corner there, you can't quite see. I've got two bins there. They're the, the beginning bins. I think I need three beginning bins where I put all the raw material, which is anything I can get my hands on, all my weeds, all my prunings, all my old vegetable produce that hasn't made it into the house for one reason or another, stabled horse manure, anything. Lawn clippings, I beg, borrow and steal from people I bring uh, tons of cardboard home from work. I don't like newspaper, it's a bit hard to work with. But cardboard, I'm always throwing cardboard in there. All my house waste, everything, anything I can find goes into those bins. And those three bins probably do the most of the work, is getting it all set up. I find the hardest, or I find the, probably the most, the best, the first step is to getting the right amount of moisture into your bins, it's either too wet or too dry, and, and the first bin is, is where that happens. So I, I throw everything in, put in what I think is the appropriate amount of water. And then the second bin, when I move it out of the first bin into the second bin, that way I can judge if, it's, if I think it's wet enough and, or, and it needs to be some dry material added, or if it's dry enough, or if it's too dry and I need to add some more water. And then the third bin is kind of the first set of the storage section because those first two bins I can fill those three times before I fill one of these so once this one's full two or three of those bins will go into here because the whole time everything's just breaking down and breaking down and shrinking and shrinking and shrinking you can fill one of these bins up to the top and come back in a week and it's it's shrunk by two thirds it's like you get a, a third spare space at the top so from there to here, probably two of those bins. As, as you go through, the shrinkage is less. So the shrinkage in the first three bins is a lot more. Then to here, then to here, probably two of these bins will go into here. And then two of those bins into there, and then that one into the storage bin. The only trouble with the storage bin, sometimes is it's still half full when I want to store, so I've got to pull all that out, put it in a wheelbarrow or something, put this in because I want the old the newer stuff on the bottom and the older stuff on the top, so I'm always using the, the most processed compost I have. 
Right, and today's job, this bin is empty at the moment. So today's job is to get what's in these two bins, out of those two bins, into this bin. And then I can start filling those two bins again. I won't bore you with the process of doing that, I'm just showing you, I'll just do that. The other reason I have this many bins uh, basically is to produce as much compost as possible for my veggie garden. And I've found that I need at least this many bins. Like I said, I do think I need another one yet just to get that little bit more productive. The other reason I'm always turning it from one bin to another is to keep air in the compost system because obviously this is a fairly closed system. So if I can keep pulling it out and, and, and fluffing it up and putting air into it, that's uh, what the bacteria and the microbes and everything need is good fresh air. If you, if you just sit your bin there, it really slows down the process. So again, it's all just about speed and getting as much compost as quick as I can. Right, so that's today. I'll sort those two bins, those three bins out, and we'll come back in, um, in two weeks time and we'll work on these three bins and I'll show you what I do. Because what I like to do, if possible, is always have some fresher stuff on top. So as when I pull it out of this bin and put it into that one, the fresh stuff goes on the bottom and the older stuff is on the top. And, and that way the older stuff can affect the newer stuff. Uh, microbially and bacterially and really get it working and cooking and then it comes out of here and into that one. So I think that's enough rambling from me at the moment. Hope it makes sense to you. If you've got any questions please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. But black gold compost is king. Everything they say about compost is true. I was a, 20 years ago I was fairly skeptical but now I, I won't plant anything without throwing a bucket of compost in the soil to start with so yeah if you found that interesting please hit the big thumbs up button just below the video like the video uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this because I will keep putting them out every couple of weeks until I think I've ex exhausted any information that I can share with you so that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Yeah.